welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday. It is 11.15 and I'm having a solo day in the city. So I honestly can't tell you the last time that I spent a day like just by myself, but I have a really busy couple of weeks coming up. I have expo and a wedding and Max's birthday and just a lot of things that are coming up that I will have to be pretty social for. So I am taking today as like a mental health day, but like outside of the apartment. I don't want to just like lay in bed or lay on the couch, which is totally fine. It's what I would prefer to do most days, but I do want to have like a outing just for me. So I have gotten dressed. I put on like my workout clothes and this like flowy top. I have my tea that I drink every morning and I put on just like a little bit of makeup because I am breaking out, which is really, really fun. But anyway, so I planned myself a solo adventure day. I am going to a workout class this morning and then I wanted to do some shopping for myself, but probably and hopefully for Max's birthday. So Max, my boyfriend of five and a half years, his birthday is October 9th. He's turning 25 and I need to get him some birthday gifts. So Max, if you're watching this video, thank you, but stop right here. I am buying you some birthday gifts today, so don't watch this video. I figured I would record today and bring you guys along because whenever I post anything about New York on my Instagram or on my Instagram stories, everyone always asks to see more and see more of what I do and more of the places I go. So this could be a fun video to watch if you like New York. So I am going to head off to my workout class, which I booked on ClassPass. I have not gone to a workout class in a long time other than yoga, because I teach for core power. So I just go there a few times a week, but I've not booked a outside of core power workout class in a long time but I was feeling extra this morning and I booked a body rock class, which is Pilates. I have not done the like reformer, the like those machines, I'll pull them right here, since pre-COVID. So I'm a little bit nervous because I don't know if my body can even handle that, but we shall see. So I'm going to go and bring you guys along and hopefully you like this video as much as I enjoy my day because spending the day in the city is like amazing. So anyway, let's go. Okay, outfit of the day that Oh, hi Max. Hi. <laughs> Outfit of the day. Like I said, I just did some yoga pants or leggings, whatever. A like cropped sports bra top. I have this like flowy shirt that I can just put on top of it. So afterwards when I'm shopping, I don't feel as gross because I don't want to come home and shower. I don't want time for that, you know? And then I did socks and my new Burks, mostly because they're comfortable and I need socks for class. So this is the vibe. My hair is in a messy bun. So this is it. Let's go out. Okay, first things first, this weather is like perfect, flawless. I love it so much. I'm obsessed with all things fall, especially going into like the colder winter months. I just like love colder weather. So I'm pumped that it's not 95 degrees outside. Yesterday, Max and I spent the whole day outside and I almost passed out from heat. So I'm loving this. It's like 70 degrees outside. Hopefully it stays this way because I just want to spend the whole day outside. This is beautiful. Anyway, I like to bike everywhere in the city. So I'm going to bike and go to class. So I decided to treat myself to some Think Coffee stuff. It's like right next to where I did my workout. If you're interested, it's all on Union Square. Here's what I got. I did this like spinach muffin for something savory. And then I have to have something sweet, obviously. So I got this babka stick thing. And then I got an iced chai with almond milk, which is like one of my favorite coffee drinks. It's not coffee, but like coffee shop drinks, you know? Okay, really quick. I am going to sit here and eat my food and drink my drink. And I'm going to order some things on Amazon for Max's birthday that I was thinking of during class. So I'm gonna 
do that before I go shopping because I feel like I can probably find a few things cheaper on Amazon and then I'll get there faster anyway. So I'm going to do that. But when I was leaving the Body Rock studio, this sweet human being came up to me and was like, I recognize you from Instagram. I have notifications turned on when you post and I literally can't even begin to explain like how much that made my day. Instagram has been a really hard place recently and I feel like it feels like no one sees my stuff. And then to have someone in real life say like, oh, I follow you and I look at your stuff and I like make a priority to look at your stuff literally made me almost tear up. So nice. So anyway, BRB. I devoured that meal and now I'm going to my first stop on my solo shopping adventure. And we are headed to, I don't know if you can see, Strand Bookstore. Okay, if you've never been to Strand Bookstore, especially in Union Square, it's massive. Like I could spend hours here, but I just want to find like a couple of games, maybe a book. I want to get Max like a bunch of little things and then probably like something big at the end, but I found this fun game, Word Whiz. He loves like word scrambles, so maybe that's one. Okay, next I was thinking some sort of a cookbook, but I don't know like what vibe to get. Like this one's cool. And then there's like more fish based, I don't know. Ah. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with Anthony's Let's Do Dinner, just cause we both know who Anthony is. I feel like it'll be a cute book to get. And he loves dinner food, so yeah. So Strand was pretty much a success. I was able to grab two books and two games that I think he would enjoy and just make him happy. And I'm on my way to Flatiron, which is where a lot of big stores are. I was going to try to check out H&M for like basic t-shirts or like fall gear that I think he'd enjoy. And then Bed Bath & Beyond for some kitchen things that he's mentioned he might like in the past. Max never, ever, ever tells me what he wants, ever. He's not a gift guy, which is sad because that's what I show love, It's getting gifts. So I'm doing my best with what I've got and hopefully gonna get him some good kitchen stuff. Initially, my plan with my solo day was to go shopping for myself, but I do enjoy shopping for other people way more because like I said, my love language is gift giving. So I just love to give people gifts. So I'm feeling very fulfilled today with my one store I've already been to. And I'm hoping I can get a couple more things and then feel like really prepared for his birthday because like I said earlier in this video, I have a lot going on in the next couple of weeks. So it'll just be nice to already know that I am prepared for his birthday. Let's keep shopping. Okay, another random thought I just had was that Max loves candy and like snacks. And since he never asks for anything, like I said, I'm doing a bunch of little things. So I'm getting him some Kit Kats, some extra to toasty Cheez-Its, which are his fave. And maybe one more thing, hold on. I also went with Chips Ahoy cookies. So let me explain my like thought process for his birthday and then I'll explain why I'm doing all of this. Okay, so my plan for Max's actual birthday, like the day of, his birthday is October 9th, which just happens to be a Saturday this year. I figured we'd wake up, I'd show him my decorated living room because I always decorate the living room for his birthday, it's like tradition, and then take him out to brunch shopping because he really needs a pair of shoes and I can't buy him shoes without him there because he needs to try them on. We have dinner plans, or I'm going to make the dinner reservations, and then some plans after that, which I will share on the day of, because on the off chance he watches this part of the video, I don't want it ruined. But for like all the gifts, I was thinking of doing like a small kind of scavenger hunt around the apartment, like start in the living room, go into the kitchen, back to the living room, I don't know, like small clues and stuff like that for him to find the smaller gifts on the day of, just something special. And because he never tells me what he wants, a lot of small things is better than nothing at all. So I just finished off Strand and the like sweets, candies, snacks that he likes. And now I'm going to go to a few more stores just to make sure I don't want to grab anything else because I will spend all my money on gifts for him because that's just the way that I am. I just passed Old Navy and I know for sure Max needs new pajama pants because his ripped so badly. And maybe like some workout shirts and Old Navy has pretty good deals. So let me show you what I get here. Okay, I'd say this was so successful. I haven't checked out yet. So I'm not sure what the total is yet, but everything is on sale. Like t-shirts that are originally 30 bucks are eight. So literally yesterday he was looking for a gray t-shirt. This one's $8. It's like so soft. I think he'll like it. And then I got this like pink, 
crew neck. He's really been into this like light pink color. I think this one's like 10. Honestly, should get another color. And then the same gray t-shirt I got in white, but this one has the like three buttons, so like that Henley style. I think it'll be nice for fall with like a flannel on top. And then a pair of these kind of green shorts just to have around the house. So I got like a bigger size so you can just like chill in them. And then some of the flannel long pants that he liked from last season that he wore every day until they had a hole in the crotch. And this workout t-shirt like a mustard color that he also likes this one is i think eight dollars as well originally like 25 so a steal okay um the solo day of shopping for max and shopping for myself has turned into a shopping spree and i need to go home because i've spent way too much money and i'm a little upset about it but also i just really like to shop it's a problem i literally bought too many things that i truly can't walk home i just have too much stuff it's too heavy and one of my bags already ripped so i had to get another bag from this like sweet human who just offered me their bag so i ordered a lift which i never do i'd rather walk i'd rather bike i'd rather do anything but take a car in the city so i'm taking a lift because i don't think i can walk much further with these bags and i don't want to risk another bag breaking while trying to walk home it's fine i will show you what i got when i get home because i literally can't record while holding my bags so see you soon Okay, I'm officially back home. I'm exhausted, but I couldn't be happier with my Sunday. I obviously wish I hadn't spent as much money as I did, but half of the stuff was birthday gifts and maybe like two thirds of the stuff was birthday gifts and one third was like house decor. So I wanted to show y'all what I got for Max and then I'll do what I got for the apartment and show you how I like put it all up. I just like love decorating and especially for the fall, I, I need to decorate, it's a must. So let me show you. So the first half of the like scavenger hunt, small birthday gifts, there was a cookbook, cookies, Cheez-Its, Kit Kats, and this amazing birthday card. We always get dog birthday cards. I don't know why it's just like become a tradition. So found that was adorable. This book, this game, and then these cards that I thought would be cute on a bar cart because why the heck not? And then from Old Navy, a gray like everyday t-shirt, this workout t-shirt, this amazing crew neck, shorts pajama pants and a white t-shirt like i said everything was on sale at old navy so i'm like super happy i stopped by there and then this mortar and pestle from tj maxx so it was eight bucks i thought it would look cute like on the counter and then max has mentioned in the past that he wants one for like seasonings when he's cooking so i thought that was cute and then like i said i went shopping for some fall decor i found this one at bed bath and beyond it's a pillow so it's like so soft and i just like loved the patterns i got this to put on our dining room table i thought i could put a candle on top of it so i got this like massive large candle one in black one in white they smell really good and then this like fall leaf garland that i was thinking about putting kind of like around the base of the candle i'm not sure yet and then some random like drawer organization which i will show you what that looks like because i love organizing so if you want to see that keep watching in just a sec here's the before here is the after on this side i did the other silver tin that i got with some of my like chance plate branding some more of my chance plate branding I just organized like the back a little bit and then the other silver tin went in here for some of my camera equipment charging stuff just to keep it organized and that's it. Here is my decor all out. So I did the like garland around this like wooden table thing. I don't know what that is, it's gross. And then this candle, it just smells so good and I love all the wicks. I think mean, it looks so pretty. And then we have this little corner. I put this pillow here, which just matches like perfectly. And I will keep this out as long as I can until like freaking January if I have to. And then this like candle corner with another pumpkin. I just love the vibes it's like a little bit of fall here a little bit of fall there and i will probably get some more fall things but this is good for now okay i did not shower before dinner i still haven't showered for my workout so it's probably disgusting but whatever i'm wearing this like sweater vest because it did get a little bit chilly so this is what i'm wearing same leggings from earlier and i pulled out my white docks from the top of my closet because they are more of like a fall shoe but people were wearing docks today so i'm wearing mine but this is my outfit and then max max also went for a fall vibe he has his like green shirt white shorts white sneaks so we are going to eat dinner and i'm starving so let's go here is the menu okay first course uh pork 
spring rolls. They look, oopsies, they look great. Second course, we got, I guess like a spicy chicken wing. I'm super pumped. Wings are like one of my all-time favorite foods. Our main courses, we did a chicken stir fry with white rice and then a beef pho that looks just delightful. I am so hungry. I am so jazzed. If you are in New York, highly suggest where is it? Madame Vo. It's like a Thai vibe. That was like one of the best meals I've had in a while. Also, if you're gluten free, a lot of those options were like gluten free friendly and they had like little pictures on the menu of things that were gluten free as well. And that was just really good. I think one of my like favorite foods in general is just Asian style food. Like I love the sauces and the seasonings and that was really good. What'd you think? Oh, I would go back <laughs> It was great. We're gonna go get ice cream because no weekend is complete without one ice cream trip. It's a little dark, but ice cream has been acquired. Our fave is Ralph's. Max gets Froyo with the watermelon water ice, which is like a water-based dairy-free ice cream. And then I got citrus twister and cotton candy because I'm five. Okay, I look fantastic. It is 9 p.m. We just got back from dinner and showered and it was such a great day. The weather honestly couldn't have been any better. Saturday was so freaking hot, but I was worried that today would be the same, but it was not. It was perfect. I'm super excited for more fall weather. Just makes me really happy and nostalgic. And it makes me excited to film because who doesn't love New York in the fall and the winter? It's just the most magical thing you've ever seen. Truly, I can't wait for Max's birthday. I'm pumped to give him all of his gifts and I will obviously record that when it's time. But thank you all so much for coming along on this journey with me to find Max his birthday gifts. I had a really great day and I'm really happy that I could have like a solo adventure. Sometimes I feel like I need a little bit of like the introverted time. So I'm going to call it a night, I'm going to get off my phone because I've been on it all day long as much as I hate doing that. Sometimes it just happens. We're gonna watch some TV and head into the week. So thank you again for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff really supports my channel and allows me to keep doing these videos. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram because I post a lot of content there from recipes to stuff about me to my day-to-day -day on my stories. And that's it. I will see you guys next time. Bye.